Kilkenny versus Galway in the Leinster Championship. Galway at home, of course. Cody against Shefflin, the one we've all been waiting for and all the build-up. And it didn't let us down. It was um, an absolute classic, really. Really intense, um, high-quality, lo loads of really high-quality scores in the first half, especially. Um, and some great defending as well. Like, like you know, just just one of those games you, you live for, right? The conditions, obviously, were going to play a factor. Um because the county teams, I suppose, at this time of the year and at this stage, they're playing in what club uh, teams are usually going to be playing. So it, it can affect the game. And that, that was clear from the start, like all the high or long range scores that Galway were getting, uh, especially Cooney from the freeze, um, real top class stuff like, and uh, Fintan Burke sideline coach. I mean, what can you say about them? They were, they were unreal. It was, it, was, it was the type of game that you really, that would want, make you want to go outside and go pucking around immediately after. You know, uh, the Leinster Championship was always going to be tough and tight this year and uh, very physical, two big, strong physical teams, loads of hurling in them, fast pace, uh, the whole Shefflin versus Cody thing, like we were saying, uh, like I was saying, they're really added to it as well. And, uh, you know, Galway started with the win. Kilkenny will always, I know they were kind of talking about this and Jackie Turrell was kind of talking about this, but Kilkenny will always go against the wind in the first half. I think it's just a, it's just a Kilkenny thing. You kind of, you know, they were saying like it takes a while for a game to settle down, but by half time you kind of know where you stand. And you know, Galway went uh, three up before Parik Walsh was able to get a point. And you know, he's so accurate off his left when he when he gets free and he gets that space. And he's so fast with the ball, and he's just such. He really is a great forward, like just a great hurler all around. But then Owen Cody got one one uh, without reply. Um, Cody was absolutely brilliant in this game. The whole from start to finish, just maybe maybe the best performance i've ever seen on a losing side uh since maybe since uh liam watson for from that time against cork he was absolutely exceptional ball coming in slitter coming in and he's just getting his hand to it right hand or left hand it didn't really matter he was just able to manipulate the defenders and catch the ball and when you get the ball in your hand you win primary possession like that obviously you know you're you're kind of you've bought a second or two or maybe more on the defender and the amount of scores he got himself the amount of scores he created he then obviously he created Billy Ryan's goal as well, and uh, all the goals, the goal of goals as well. They were great finishes, you know, putting them low down into the ground. Uh, as as a fella said, you know, send them to Australia. Uh, so Owen Cody was running riot, like we're saying. He set up Billy Ryan's goal. Brian Concannon answered with an unreal point, almost at the end line. Like that was that was one of the, one of the best scores of the day, and you know there was a lot of great scores in the game, but Brian Concannon's one was excellent. Uh, you know, Galway had a goal chance there after Paddy Deegan made a bit of a mistake in the back line. Not sure really what he was at, but, you know, they got away with it in the end. Um, then Galway's goal was after Fahey, after all the hard work by Fahey, then a great finish by uh, uh, Hastings, I think it was. It was Johnny Cohen, wasn't really sure. And, uh, you know, it was just top class first half. And it was at half time then, it was one twelve to 2-7. Um, and, you know, Cody wasn't afraid to make any changes. He took off TJ Reid. Uh, which, you know, after TJ missing a few frees as well, scored a point from play, uh, you know, hitting, striking frees into the wind is not easy. No matter what anyone says, uh, it's not easy. Go out and try it if you think it's easy. But, you know, it was 112-27 at half time. Uh, Joseph Cooney uh, scored a point after after one one handed flick from uh, Connor Cooney, was lovely falling off on his back, you know, just leaning back off his left hand side over there was great. And, um, you know, the second half, you know, Conor Whelan coming on made a big difference there as well. Uh, but, God, Galway went through a, a massive scoring drought, nearly 20 minutes. And Mikey Carey started growing into the game. Kenny were growing into the game overall. They cut the gap down to one with Mikey Carey's point. And uh, Owen Cody levelled it up uh, with an unreal score. You know, he caught, caught it with his right hand, you know, tapped it off the hurl, turned back around over the bar. You know, he was absolutely brilliant throughout the whole game. Um, like I said... And, you know, from then on, it was kind of, it was point for point and, you know, Galway then pulled away and, you know, fierce excitement at the end. Like, you know, what, what can you say? Like, um, Galway go three points up and you kind of think, you know, Joseph Cooney gets another point and Monaghan as well in the field was absolutely exceptional. Dottie Burke, uh, brilliant full back throughout, I thought, even though I know Kilkenny scored three goals, but, you know, he was really good throughout. Um, Parik Mannion grew into it massively in the second half. He was absolutely brilliant in the second half. And, you know, Owen Cody even again wins the ball 
after a high ball drops out of his hand, he wins it in the rook, he comes out with it, pops it across to John Donnelly, and John Donnelly gets a goal that I'm sure the goal he'll be disappointed with. But again, picks up the slitter, takes the quick puck out, and a dodgy enough free. If you're the defender there, if you're Paddy Deegan, you're probably giving out about giving away that free. I know Brian Cody wasn't happy, but you know, nerves of steel from uh, from Connor Cooney to hit that free over the bar against the wind outside the 65 to win the game, nailed it. After, you know, especially after being done against Wexford, I suppose, for time wasting with the free, to then stand over that one, take his time, drilled it between the posts, like right over the black spot. Cody wasn't happy with the referee, which I suppose, you know, if that free is given against you, you wouldn't be happy. But um, what a game, what a game. And really just turns the Leinster Championship on its head. It was just so good. You know, Brian Concannon as well for Galway was absolutely brilliant. Dahi Burke, uh, Monaghan, Joseph Cooney, and, um, you know, then next thing, you know, Conor Cooney, what can we say, from start to finish with the freeze, especially those long range freeze he was getting in the first half were so important for Galway. Um, with the wind and then against the wind that he was still able to nail a few long range ones and that last one there from outside the 65 um, you know God what a Leinster Championship it's going to turn out to be because I know the conditions aren't great it's not the same summer hurling uh, fast pace and all as it usually would be but you know the, still the intensity the physicality looked like the league but felt like the Championship uh, it had everything um, what a game and really sets up the Leinster Championship nicely and uh, looking forward to, you know, we were treated to the, you know, Cody and Shefflin handshake at the end, like what a, what a moment that was and captured, you know, in photographs and, and video and all. And I suppose, look, uh, that is a shot across the bow for Kilkenny from Galway, from Shefflin. And, you know, you're coming to King, you best not miss, as they say. So lo really looking forward to the rest of this championship. What a game. Uh, really wakened up the Leinster Championship.